Good morning, good morning, good morning everyone. Out on the boat today, solo mission. It's super easy today. I don't know what's going on. Sahara dust is absolutely next level. I cannot tell if it's going to rain or not. That's to tell you how bad the visibility is. It just looks like it's overcast. You always see any background. That actually looks clear, but on the next side of me, I can't tell. I just can't tell. Anyhow, we're going to be doing some grocery shopping. Wife wants something for the oven later. And uh, hopefully I'm successful. And that's typically based on if I catch a fish to take home or not. So <laughs> we'll see how that goes. You guys had to stick around for that. But as you can see, there's something next to me. Some nutrition packed food and a little bit of history on this before I dive into it. A little while ago, several months ago, I was out on the boat and I was actually shooting a video. I think it was with Coast. Coast might actually would have been on the boat. I can't remember. Somebody's on the boat with me and this boat flagged us down. So we drove up the boat and I realized it's a couple of sparrows that I knew and they had offered some food to me and they're like, hey, this is some really nice tasty food. Try this out and you know, you're out on the boat fishing. We actually didn't have that much to eat. I typically just walk with nuts and water when I'm on the boat if I'm just going out for a couple hours. So anyway, I, I tried this food and it was really tasty. The family that makes this food, one of the young ladies is a sparer and she watches my videos as well and she reached out to me and she's like, hi Brett, you know, I really like your videos. I think that these snacks that we make will go great with the lifestyle that you have and she was absolutely correct because they gave me some samples to follow and I've been eating it. They have really nice flavors. So they have banana, they have pumpkin, there's all these different things mixed in. They have these little protein power snacks, which are actually really nice, these energy bites. And the name of the people that do this is More Bites. This is legit nice food when you're out on a day and you're sparing. You have your pumpkin, you have your carrots, you have your oats mixing, all this good stuff. And it's just, it just goes well. It just goes well with in between diving, in between fishing, something easy, something nutrition, don't have to worry about exactly what you're eating. Cause you know, if you eat the macaroni pie and the, and the stew chicken, you're going to the bottom of the ocean. That's the problem. And you're gonna get cramp up, which actually happens to me. So these are perfect and I actually surf too. So this is good for in between surfing sessions and you know, I mean fishing and, and sparing, but I do surf occasionally. Anyhow, moving on, gonna be doing a little bit of fishing today and gonna hopefully get something for the oven like your wife wants. We'll see where that goes. Catch you guys in the next cast. I am hungry right now, so I'm not even gonna wait to try this pumpkin squash. I've had this one before, so I already know. I already know I'm gonna like this one. You pumpkin squash. It's very nice. Very nice for those things. I saw this in the tackle shop yesterday and all I wanted to do is slack this thing out. The mini octopus. I feel like nothing in the ocean is safe. Yeah, I'm telling you. It's about to go down. Sub your lingus. If I was in the right zone, I would say Sub your lingus. The old mutton would come and give it a little slip, but uh, we would just try and see what they have here. Oh my god, you gotta move this thing real slower. Should have put a little um, scent on it to get them fish going. Can you imagine what this looks like on the bottom? <laughs> this is the little octopus cruising the seafloor. It's, it's not safe. It's not safe for any predatory fish that's hungry. And them snappers and groupers see this squiggling by. That's it. Whoa! Oh my goodness. 
Han har följt det. Han har följt det. I get this sock. Oh my goodness. Can I keep this thing right on the sea floor? I will just squirt in there. Come on, mutton snapper. 15 pong now. Could you imagine if I caught a 15 pong mutton doing this? Oh, oh, oh! Yo, I just missed a fish. That's the second fish. Oh! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness on the octo! The octo! Oh. My god! Yo! What happened there? My line broke. I don't know if it broke on the leader or... Broke on the main line. That real sucked. That one hurt. I'm gonna lie. You know when you cast and you're like... Problems when you don't know what you hook and you're fishing for bottom fish. And like in my head, I'm just anticipating catching a nice grouper or mutton snapper or something like that. And I miss that fish and then it comes back and it eats it and I get smoked. And then my main line breaks. I don't know if I had some kind of damage on my main line. Like, this is not something that ever happens. I don't know what happened there. I didn't feel it rubbing on any reef. My drag was was good. I was real disappointed. Ouch. I have one more octo jig, so obviously I'm gonna try it again. That one hurt. That one hurt folks. But let's go again. Alright, second octo jig. I'm definitely a little bit bummed out about that last fish. It's because I really do think it was a nice bottom fish. But, I mean, granted that I have been wrong in the past and hooked Jack, but it just, it just felt like a bottom fish. I was kind of like pig dog into the sea floor and I hooked it on the sea floor. I just brought the line off a little bit. But we're gonna try again and see what happens. Also, funny enough, majority of my reels right now have silk ocean on it like 95 percent of them because i just re-spool all my stuff for silk ocean this is one of the few reels that doesn't have silk ocean on it but i felt a lot more confident with brand new line on my on my rod but and the silk ocean has been working pretty good for me recently i just got knocked again i think might might have been a sea floor On that last fish, I guess you guys saw any video, but like I got the knock, and then I reeled up quite a bit, and I felt like it was still trying to grab it, and I was off the sea floor, and I waited, and then I, I dropped it back down. While it was dropping is when the fish picked it up, and I flipped over the bill, and it was hard. <laughs> Fishing boy. <laughs> Just got that was a bite.
small fish though. So lots of small fisher bites, you know. Spin this around. Lots of small bites. Clearly they like the octopus jig a lot. I have to go and get more. I only I only bought two yesterday. And if you're wondering what I did with the colors, I always like to go natural. Natural is always gonna be a winner. I like bright colors as well, but um, for specific applications. But the first octopus I used was white. And the reason why I chose white was because octopus and squids, when they get scared, they turn white very fast. It's like, um, so it kind of, I guess it just gives off the, maybe the illusion, the lure anyway, um, like it's a scared octopus or squid. So that's why I decided to use that one first. Whether or not that had anything to do with getting the bite is debatable, but. They are working. So I just got our next bites. It's gonna be so sad if I don't look <laughs> anything else in this spot. I'm just gonna feel like, oh my. Again, take dog in on the bottom. It doesn't feel, it's not near as big as the last fish. Definitely not as big as the last fish. The last fish just smoked. Now I'm a little bit cautious because of this brain. I don't like. Definitely not near as big as the last fish, but something on the octo, I'm pretty stoked on that. <laughs> Yeah, that first fish smoked compared to this one. I actually had to drag a little bit hard on the last fish too. I backed off a little bit just because I was a little bit cautious. Plus I cut off a bunch of line because I was just worried that it was like chafed or something. But this fish is coming up. It doesn't feel like a bottom fish. Maybe a jack or something, I don't know. I feel like a bottom fish would have floated by now. Definitely moving like a jack. And if it is, which it is, it leads me to believe that the last fish was <laughs> probably a jack as well. Uh, that's kind of cool though. The octo works. The octo for the win. And you locked a jig. I'm a snapper, but <laughs> ah yes. Octo jig for the win. Well, you know I'm gonna go back down and try a few more times. All right, I'll let this little guy go. See ya. Probably should not have done that open because my big camera got a little bit of salt water on it. We'll clean that up and we'll take another drop. All right, time for another go. Wind is picking up a lot. In the meantime, I'm gonna try one of these energy bites with a chocolate chip. Also really nice. Oats, sunflower seeds, sesame seeds, pumpkin, flax, linseed, almonds, coconut oil, cane sugar, dark chocolate. I guess has a little chocolate on top.
Mm. Oh my goodness. Almost had me choking on the no bite. On the more bite. Whoa, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Wow, that's a nicer fish. Not moving. Not move. Oh my gosh. Not moving like a jack. If this broke on the main line, I have to respool this reel today. It feels like it broke on the main line. I hope it didn't. Well, if that is an example why you should be using silk ocean, I don't know why I didn't put silk ocean on this reel. That's annoying. I kind of feel like a little bit like I deserve that just because I tied up the line <clears throat> but I took off so much of it just now I didn't think it would have been an issue I don't know if the fish are running off the side of your reef on Katamini Reef like I have no clue what to think about that but I am disappointed <sighs> and I was my next octo. That fish did not feel like a jack. It felt just like the first fish. It did not feel like a jack. Uh. Studying if to try here again or... I don't have any more of those octo jigs. I just go and fish for a top on our jack and somewhere else. I'm a little bummed out. I guess we'll see where we're going next. Try for some jacks on top on her. Do this all a while. So it works out. Oh, first cast? What? <laughs> a little top one. First cast. <laughs> Not bad. Alright. If you jump off now, I will be okay with that. Ugh. Perfectly okay with you jumping off now. Jump on chick, jump on chick. No. No jump on chick. <laughs> Let's see if I can take this off in the water. Just wrap up. Not bringing any boots. Oh, it came off. <laughs> I was just about to bring it in the boat. <laughs> I think you straightened my hook a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Well, nice. Got some action, eh? I will see if I get fix this fucking street a little bit and take another cast eh? 
see how that goes. This feels like a crispy. <laughs> One head shake and floating. Yes, it is. <laughs> Any boat? <Yee! laughs> Little crispy on a deep dive baller. <laughs> I'll let this one go. Definitely gonna touch your rock. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I saw that grip they caught! <laughs> the light side one too! <laughs> That thing was aggressive boy, wow! <laughs> this came out and he slammed it! That was pretty cool! <laughs> it's a pretty good size one! How is that one? <laughs> a nice size one! Get a little bit close to the rocks there! How's that? It's a nice size! I got this all fast. I got to start up. All right, moving back into the safe zone now. <laughs> Let's see if I could get this thing to. I have no clue where this is focusing. Check this guy out. Nice B. Can I let him go? That was fun. Uh, thinking about making, I'll make one more cast and see how it goes. And then we'll wrap it up. Oh, we're getting too far. We're getting too far to make the last cast. Jeez, that Grisby just flew out and snatched that bit. They can be super aggressive little group. Super aggressive little groupers when they're ready. Alright folks, gonna wrap it up there. Finish on that grizzly. I know it was a little bit of a, a little bit of some heartbreaks today. It was bottom fish on the octo jig. I'm, I'm pretty sure the second one, the first one I'm not 100% sure. The second one definitely felt like a bottom fish. 
Unfortunately, no fish to go with. Still had a lot of fun though. I would say it's a beautiful day, but it's so much haze. I don't even know if it's sunny or rainy. I have no clue what's going on. One thing I can say is that we're not going home hungry. We have no fish, but more bites. Mm hmm. Banana cocoa. More bites as well covered. Cheers, guys. Catch you on the next one. Mm hmm.